Hello, this is Christy Carter of Global Positive News Network, and I have the honor of introducing to you, there you Daniel Cassidy, the founder of Rasta Klatt, Seek the Positive Trailblazer. The foundation of Rasta Klatt's values and function are a true reflection of founder, CEO, Cassidy's vision, spreading positive vibrations one wrist at a time. What well, started as a made-to-order handcrafted shoelace bracelet has become a full-fledged social movement embraced by all walks of life and his vision is heralded in every single touch point. Rasta Claus is a symbol of righteousness, doing good for yourself and others. We believe positive action can change lives, inspire confidence, and unite us as human beings. Seek the positive. So, Daniel, thank you so much for being here on this interview with Global Positive News Network. I love it's what you're funny. doing. It's fantastic. Um, so let me ask you real quick, what, why did you name your, your um, company Rastaclot? Yeah, it's, uh, it has a little bit of heritage in it, and um, it's pronounced Rastaclot. And the, the last uh, four letters of the name clot means cloth. Right. Ah. Uh, and um, and the name Rasta is a righteous person. So it's a cloth of the righteous. And so ah. the goal um, and the idea behind that name was to empower people with a product. For us, it's it's our bracelets, uh, oh, Rasta wow. bracelets, um, mm -hmm. a product that represents positivity and reminds you to be a righteous person every day and and um, charge that that life and live that life every single day. So, yeah. That's very cool, very cool. And you're, you're from Kenya originally? Yes, I was born in Kenya. Um, I'm 36 years old now. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, I moved to the States about five years, when I was about five years old. So Wonderful. I'm first generation and uh, got a, you know, an older brother and older sister and some, some amazing parents. So, um, but yeah, I've been in America most of my life, but um, you know, born in Kenya. Wonderful, lovely. I was in Kenya, I don't know if I told you this earlier, but I was in Kenya about, 10 years ago, absolutely loved it. Absolutely yeah. loved it. You know, saw the Ross, saw the, um, the Mar Masa, Masai tribe. Masai Mara, yeah. They were it's beautiful, just beautiful country. So pretty, wow. Yeah, it's part of my heritage, Masai. And so, you know, every time we go back, we will, uh, we do the, the traditional uh, things that go on there. So it's fun. I love it. Cool, yeah. very nice, very nice. So Daniel, why did you start this company? You know, it's, it's really simple. I mean, um, when I was 17 years old, I was an aspiring uh, professional skateboarder and a shoe company, you know, used to send me all these extra pair of shoelaces. I was always artistic and creative. And one day I decided to fashion a bracelet for myself for my next extra pair of shoestrings. Mm -hmm. um, and and the, the magic that happened behind it, and when I went to school and I was uh, probably about a senior in high school, all my friends loved the bracelet and uh, asked for one. Mm -hmm. uh, so that night I went home and I made, you know, 10 braces for my friend and I took them friends and took them back to school the next day. And wow. each person came back to me once I'd given it to them and they'd sort of worn it for a day, came back to me with a story of, you know, newfound confidence because they were noticed by someone or they were just inspired by what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And the, the magic behind it was the fact that it was making people feel good and mm -hmm. in turn making me really feel really good about myself at a time of my life where I was looking for direction and self-worth. Mm -hmm. And so I fell in love with that feeling of um, inspiring people and wanting mm -hmm. people to feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. So I asked myself at that point in my life, how can I scale this idea and scale positivity um, mm -hmm. through this, this wow. uh, really simple pro product that, um, that I came up with? And that was the beginning of the, the what, uh, the why, and the, um, of Rastaclot. And so, mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I took that concept, um, didn't quite make it into something initially. Um, mm -hmm. I went to school and, um, studied fashion and, and design, design for Levi's Reebok and all these Perfect. great companies. And, uh, yeah, about eight years ago, me and a, a partner decided to start it on and we've been, we've been going strong ever since and really building the movement. Wow. Fantastic. I absolutely love what you're doing. It's so fun. Yeah. What in, in kind of the grand scheme of things, what do you wish to accomplish? Our big goal is to inspire 1% of the world with our brand message, which is seek the positive. Mm -hmm. So that's 77, you know, million people, right. Um, by 2023. And it's, we have a, we have a date that we'd like to at least uh, set as a marker. 
And the goal for that is really to empower people with a positive mindset. Mm -hmm. um, we believe that our educational systems don't do a really great job of about teaching us those skill sets that mm -hmm. we need to get through life. And so if we as a brand can do that through having a reminder of a bracelet um, or making the content that empowers and inspires people every single day, then we are accomplishing our vision. So mm -hmm. um, the long-term goal is to inspire as many people all around the world to, to carry along the positivity mindset every single day. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. And I love that you have the wrist, wrist bracelet because you look at it all the time. I mean, like several times, yeah. like a yeah. hundred times a day or something. Yeah, so right my there. ear says positive vibes. It just reminds you to just, you know, seek the positive. In, in this environment, it's also just a great reminder. It's very yeah. easy to go through the emotional roller coaster of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, COVID and all the different yes. uh, things that aren't so normal as we, we used to remember them. So it's, uh, it's great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So what, what you know, when, if somebody, God forbid, somebody has COVID virus that you know or whatever, what would you tell them at this point? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I'm obviously not a doctor or anything of that nature, but I think your mind a lot of times has a lot to do with how you fight something, mm -hmm. um, the resilience that you have. And so I would just equip them with the, with the idea of think positive thoughts, you know, mm -hmm. uh, be an optimist. Mm -hmm. And if you can really have that in your mind, your body will follow. And a lot yes. of times your, your body yeah. reacts to how you're thinking in your mind. So it is a little bit of psychology, but if you can just empower people that don't think that way naturally, yeah. um, they have a better, they have a better chance of beating it um, yeah. than they would if they didn't have. And even if they don't beat it, you know, God forbid, yeah. they're going to inspire so many people around them with their strength wow. and resilience. Yes. And that, that in turn, even through a loss, you can empower a lot of other people and do great, great things. So, wow. mm -hmm. um, so that's what I would tell them. That's beautiful. Beautifully said. Thank you so much. Wow. So um, Daniel, what impact have you made in your own community in the last six months? Um, well, we do so much as a brand and, and personally, I try to do so much um, with my personal um, life. But, you know, just recently with everything going on, you know, we pledged it as a company for um, the month of April to donate a um, dollar every product sold on our website to Meals on Wheels. Perfect. We we see that the elderly are having a very difficult time getting the meals and being able to get out of their house and, and mm -hmm. navigate freely. And so mm -hmm. we feel for that and we wanted to make sure that we did something positive and uh, empower them um, mm -hmm. during this time. Um, we do quite a bit with different uh, causes and charities around the world. Um, we we did something for International Women's Day where mm. we put together um, hygiene packs for, for women that may not have the means to have just a basic daily necessities and hygiene. So mm -hmm. uh, myself, alongside with everyone at the Rasta Cloud office, uh, you know, got together and put um, hundreds of packs together and delivered them to the community. So mm -hmm. um, we continue to do this. And... Even right now on social media, we're doing a positivity challenge where people can join in and just do something positive for someone else mm -hmm. every single day mm -hmm. and elect someone to just spread that positivity. So um, luckily for us, it's ingrained. Doing good and giving back is ingrained in the brand DNA. So mm -hmm. um, it keeps me busy. It but also keeps us, uh, you know, really focused on what we want to do and accountable to what we, mm -hmm. you know, the message that we have. So, mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So what things do you have coming in the near future? Um, we have some pretty amazing things coming in the near future. Um, right now, we are, we are just continuing on with our brand and, and our message mm -hmm. and finding new ways to bring value to people um, outside of just a product. And so you guys will see that. So if you have a chance, go to rostaclot.com mm -hmm. or follow us on Instagram, Instagram at rostaclot. Um, okay. So... You know, we have, we have some amazing things. We're looking to form a foundation this year that really, mm -hmm. um, su really supports women's empowerment, mm -hmm. um, equality, and personal development, and be able to not only um, do good through selling product, but also get in the community and do more and have an avenue in which mm -hmm. we can support that. So that's a pretty big initiative for us this year. <laughs> and um, we're looking forward to that. And, and also just um, finding the right people that are going to inspire the future generations and yes. telling their stories. Yes. Um, I think there's so much to learn from other people's stories. And so we're storytellers. So we'll be doing yeah. a lot more of that as well. Oh, that's wonderful. I love it. Wow. Yeah. So Daniel, what positive news do you want to share with our viewers today? 
positive dues? Yes. Um, I think for me, positive dues, um, I'll just speak of my personal life. It's your morning routine. Um, I think what you do in the first hour in the morning is really, really important to mm -hmm. your mindset and the intentions that you put into the world for that day. Uh, so positive dues for me is um, exercise, obviously gets your mind moving and, and uh, on a positive note, gets your, your blood flowing. Mm -hmm. The other positive do is journal. Um, mm -hmm. I think oh, it's really, really yeah. important to yeah. put your thoughts and emotions on paper. Mm -hmm. um, it relieves, relieves inflammation in your body. Um, and it actually reduces the amount of anxiety that you have to just let it go. Right. Um, wow. And then the third piece is just set your intentions for the day. You know, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. no matter what your day is going to bring you, we don't know what's going to happen in a minute, in a second, but you mm -hmm. can sort of set your mind up to how you want to approach your day and the mindset that you will have. Wow. And That's if you can do that every day, you'll find yourself less being less uh, driven by the things that happen during the yes. day and more the conviction and who the person that you want to be every single day. So um, I'll leave it at a short, short list of three. That's, that's so perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So exercise, journal, and set your intentions. Um, yes. Yeah. It just kind of sets the whole tone for your day. And when things Absolutely. come up, you're still on that, on that wave that you set, right? Something like that. Absolutely. Keep I you centered it. throughout your day. Absolutely. It yeah, works for me most of the time. I can't say it works all the time. Yeah, exactly. But uh, but I would say ninety five percent of the time it keeps me keeps me straight. So hopefully That's someone right. else gets some value from that. That's right. I mean, sometimes you have to be like the Maasai warrior, right, and kind of mm -hmm. like just jump from those puddles to you know the size exactly. or what have you, and just make it work, and it and it Absolutely. does. Absolutely. It does. Absolutely. Wow. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for this interview, and I want to urge our viewers at Global Positive News Network. To take a look around at his website, it's, it's rostaclot.com and he has a beautiful store with fabulous clothing for both men and women, plus um, tips from Liz Beecroft's top five mental health truths. So again, go to rostaclot.com and take a look around. Again, Daniel, thank you so much for being here with Global Positive News Network. And I wish you all the best luck in the near and distant future. And thanks for being part of the whole positive everything in the world here. I love it. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly honored to be a part of what you guys do and be a part of your history, even for this brief moment. Um, we're all part of the same uh, human race. And yes. so I just want to remind your, your audience to seek the positive every single day and, um, you know, check us out on rosclot.com. It's spelled R-A-S-T-A-C-L-A-T.com. And remember, Perfect. seek the positive. Awesome. All right, Daniel, we'll all be seeing you. I Hopefully, I will be coming down to L.A. to uh, interview you in person and take a look around at your, at your shop or, or what have you and um, go from there. All right. Thank you so much. All right, Daniel. Take care. Thank you. All right. lion cubs behind you i'll uh I've, I've been playing around with the background so i'm gonna take it off because i don't need it but um well you know, I, I love, love that room. though yeah. but that, that shows your heritage too i mean that's beautiful thank you thank you how did you uh how did you hear about us i was actually really really interested to hear sort of the story sure sure so yeah i have a marketing team that goes and searches for businesses similar to global positive news network or that we, you know, are in the same alignment, the same mindset, if you will. Yeah. And so your, your company came up. And um, so here we are. Awesome. What, what, what uh, prompted you to start? Are you the uh, founder of the company? I'm the yeah. founder, CEO of the, the whole, just like you with your company. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty amazing. You know, it started, gosh, I had this idea about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was because my folks were watching the regular media, news media, 24-7. Mm -hmm. They're getting more and more depressed. Mm 
Mm-hmm. That's one thing. And the other thing I was um, actually in the landscape industry, you know, many years in another lifetime. <laughs> and I was driving around from job to job and I just couldn't find anything inspirational or, you know, positive. I was just mm-hmm. getting tired of the regular news just being, you know, one murder after another and all this stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, I decided to start it because no one else has done it. So, yeah. but now a lot of people are coming on board and seeing that vision. Yeah. How important it is to be positive. Yeah. It's just so good for your mind, body, and soul. It's incredible. Yeah. What, what's been some of the challenges? I mean, I know that positive news, I mean, a lot of times negative PR and those type of things is what sells and that's what the industry is actually built off. Right. Like what's been right. the challenges doing sort of the, the opposite? Well, the challenge has been funding to pay yeah. for people because I have a news media, media manager who does all this mm-hmm. stuff and it's not cheap, you know, having yeah. really good quality people. He goes and he searches the globe daily for mm-hmm. positive news and he puts mm-hmm. it into our feed. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's been, it's been funding. And then recently I've been taking care of elderly parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're, although they're still in a rest home or my stepfather died um, in December, but it's been a really major challenge dealing with them. It's like a part-time, full-time job yeah. and running this company and, uh-huh. you know, doing all that stuff. So that's been a big challenge. Wow. Wow. Well, I think what you're doing is, is amazing. I mean, the world definitely needs it. Yes. And, um, you know, I've, I've, I've always been, my story is that my product, when I made it, I was actually 17 when I made my first bracelet and wow. you know, I was born in Kenya. And so I'm, I'm sort of first generation here in the States. And beautiful. Um, when I'd give the bracelet to someone, it was always a uh, um, uh, emotional uh, exchange of uh-huh. positivity or something great that happened. And it yeah. gave me a lot of self-worth through that process, especially yeah. as a young kid trying to figure out your way through the life. That's and awesome. I wanted to scale that feeling. And so for mm-hmm. us, it's about those experiences, those human experiences, and mm-hmm. those small gestures of positivity that we're trying to inspire everyone to, to do every single day. And as, as crazy as the world is today, yeah. the, I mean, for yeah. yourself and even for us, it's like the, it is kind of like the um, Christmas of like tr- taking our visions to life. You yes. Know? <laughs> and, yes. So, and people will actually take you seriously. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, one of my challenges is that people say, oh, that's not going to sell. People don't care, yeah. about, you know, the positive stuff. Yeah. The, the old mindset for the news is that what, what bleeds leads. Yeah. And, and I think that we're evolving in our human consciousness to mm-hmm. like, that's kind of old primitive stuff. And mm-hmm. I, but I think that we're evolving and it feels so much better to be positive. It just, yeah. it is like the ticket to your vision, to a better way of living. Absolutely. Well, where are you based out of? Uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Okay, great. So we're all in the same same uh, time zone. <laughs> so you're in, in Long Beach, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in Long Beach, Southern California. Our entire staff is here in uh, oh, Long wonderful. Beach, Orange County, Los Angeles area. So yeah, we're yeah. we're practically neighbors. <laughs> yeah, practically. It's literally like a two hour flight. So yeah, yeah, exactly. I like it. I like it. Awesome. Well, great. Yeah. So.